Hello and welcome back, I'm Sean and today we're checking out an earbuds from Edify that hits all the right notes and I'm really excited with what Edify have delivered with this. So let's check it out. So the first thing that I love about this earbuds is the battery life that you get and with ANC off you're getting a whopping 17 hours with this earbuds and 39 additional hours with the case and with ANC on you're still getting a 12 hours battery life with the earbuds and 28 hours with the case. And Edify rated this battery level when playing with AAC codec with 80% volume level which is really quite impressive. And not only that, you also get quick charging with this earbud, so a quick 15 minutes charge will get you 5 hours of battery without ANC. And the next thing that I absolutely love about this is the sound quality that you get here, and oh my gosh, is it good. And you also get a hybrid driver designed with a single dynamic driver with a balanced amateur driver inside. And we'll talk a little bit about sound signature a little bit on. So the next area that I love about this is the tank that you get with this earbuds, and you also get Bluetooth 5.4 with LDAC, AAC, and SBC support. You get good water resistant rating at IP55, so you get to use it in the gym or use it running in the rain. So you get wireless charging with this case, Google Fast Pair, app support, multi-point support as well as in-ears wearing detection, essentially getting all the features you come to expect from a TWS earbuds. So to the parts where I think that these earbuds could be better, first of all is the case material. So don't get me wrong, this is not a bad quality case per se, however you're paying quite a lot of money for these earbuds and I wish that the case material would be slightly better, that it won't be the type that would scratch easily. So the good news is that the material you get with the earbuds is actually really good. So the second thing about them is also the size of the earbuds itself and these are not small earbuds and for me it works well however for ladies or people with smaller ears I would imagine this could be a little too large for them. And to my surprise, that's pretty much all the cons I could think of for these earbuds. This featured pack earbuds comes in at a price of 113 US dollars or around 499 Malaysia Ringgit. And as far as high-tech earbuds that sounds good, I think you can get better value than this. And if you find value in what you hear and like what you see so far, do subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so that YouTube algorithm can pick this up. And Edify will also be running some promo from time to time, so do check out the links below for its latest pricing. So to the part that I'm really excited, the sound quality on this earbud is really good and I'm impressed because I'm running this in LDAC codec in high-res wireless which usually calms down the bass to a more crisp and flatter sound signature but with the hybrid combination of this earbuds the balanced armature driver and the dynamic driver is the perfect balance to your ears. With the bass performance Edify is giving you fantastic bass response here both with the mid bass as well as the sub bass performance on this earbuds is extremely satisfying. They hit deep and hard even the mid bass has a good hum at its tail end and with the sub bass give it enough volume and it's going to rumble like subwoofers in your ear. And mid vocals on these earbuds is also fantastic sounding, it renders with great body, great character, it doesn't sound recessed and is crisp throughout the whole volume range without distortion. So highs here sparkles beautifully especially with the balanced armature driver and you don't get that sharp highs which is great because everything seemed to be balanced out really well between the two drivers. And kudos to Edifier for tuning them so well. So this is a test to see if the Edifier Neo Dots is a good earbuds on making phone calls. So this is me speaking in a relatively quiet environment and this is the call quality that you can expect. So what I'm going to do now is to turn on a similar tobacco noise so you can hear a difference. So now there's a similar tobacco noise playing in the background and this is the call quality that you can expect from these earbuds. So what do you think of the call quality? Let me know in the comment section down below. So don't get me wrong when I'm talking about the case material because this material here does seem like an improvement from the regular budget earbuds case. However, I do notice that these type of plastics will still require a lot of care to make sure it doesn't get scratched up. And just right out of the box, I can also see a few marks on this case already. So at the top here, you're going to see the Edify branding there, subtle and classy, really nice. And at the back of the case is the Type-C charging port to charge the case up. And this earbuds also supports wireless charging at the bottom. So just stand this up on a Qi wireless charger and it'll be able to charge wirelessly. So there is also a button at the side of the case to reset the button as well as to put it into pairing mode. And opening the lid is also nice and solid. And the lid here is also designed really well with a good thick plastic inside here that doesn't feel flimsy at all. Inside you're gonna get that beautiful uh, Neo Dots earbuds here. The front now has a very small stem with the Edify logo and also a sparkly glossy panel. There isn't any touch sensor surface here but you do control the earbuds via squeeze action at the side here so you just squeeze it to control controlled it. And at the front here is also an AirPods Pro style ear tips but slightly larger than normal so if you have smaller ears they might not fit so well and overall I think this is one of Edify's most beautifully designed earbuds. So volume is also good with the Neo Dots and I get to a comfortable listening volume at around 30% volume and I would get to a loud volume at around 60% volume so plenty more power to go and with the 60% volume you're already getting good amount of bass, very impressive. 
With the Edify Connects app, you're getting very familiar features. Here at the home page, you see your beautiful earbuds with the easy to read battery percentage for the earbuds and the case. At the top is also the high res low audio logo that will light up if you're running LDAC codec. And below that, you get to choose the ANC controls and you get to choose between high, medium, and low ANC. Ambient sound gets plus three and minus three, so you get to boost it up if you really need to hear your environment. And you also get wind reduction and ANC off. Under the sound effect is where you get to choose between the three presets, classic, heavy bass, which is my favorite and also vocals you also get a four band manual eq and with q factor and frequency adjustments to adjust each bar accordingly below that is also gaming mode and also media playback and so there are a few notable features under settings you're going to get your control settings to remap the squeeze control of your earbuds hd audio codec to toggle whether to prioritize ldac mode or not and you also get press sensitivity adjustment where wear detection multi-point connectivity as well as to update the firmware when there's a new one that's pretty much all the features you get with the edify connects app so the new dots does really well with ANC and does a great job in managing all the low humming noises and human chatters. With noises like the airplane cabin noise or the road noise test, the earbuds manage to cancel out almost everything especially when you have soft music playing. It does it so well that I had to remove the earbuds to ensure that the sound is playing. So if you have a decent enough volume going for your media, then this is a very serene and quiet earbuds to use. Even with human chatters, it cancels it off very well. It's not as good as cancelling out low humming noises but it still cancels out quite a lot of the environmental noises and I would say around 70 to 80 percent when you have soft music playing. Transparency mode here is really good and you also get to choose up to plus three or minus three at its maximum and you do get quite a bit of amplification and it does give you quite a lot of sound coming through as well. Wind noise is also controlled decently well in these scenarios but at high wind situations either go to wind noise reduction mode else you're still going to get quite a bit of wind buffering coming through. And with that said I'm rating the Neo Dots a very respectable ANC score of 9 out of 10. Latency is what you come to expect from an 80 milliseconds latency earbuds. You do see a minor delay when playing games like PUBG, even in gaming mode, but nothing too serious that it affects gameplay, so using the earbuds for movies and videos works really well. Anyways, let's take a look at the latency performance of these earbuds. Overall, I think this is a fantastic sounding earbuds, great performance, good ANC, and all around good featured earbuds. So for this price, I think it's a steal and can outshine any flagship earbuds from big brands. Most importantly, you get that insane battery performance. And if you want to also check out Edifier's latest flagship earbuds, you also need to check out the Edifier's TechSpirit S10 right over here, and I'll see you over at that video.